Hey, YouTube. Apocalypse Dan here, doing my first ever knife review. I'll be doing some subsequent reviews on um, different tactical gear that you might use in case the uh, proverbial S hits the fan type scenario. Now, this is a knife that caught my attention at my local Big Five, sporting goods store here in Southern California. And these weird uh, Chinese knockoff knives, uh, it's imported in from Master Cutlery for Big Five. And it suspiciously looks a lot like a zero tolerance knife. Um, but what caught my eye was that this thing is massive. I mean, just a hunkin' blade. I mean, check this out. So let's go into some stats real quick. The knife, the knife itself is eight and a half inches long, unfolded. Uh, the blade from the trail to the tip is four. It's about three and a half inches from there to there. It's got a four position clip for your type of carry. Stand massive frame lock. It's got jimping on the frame. Right there on the top of the blade. On the back and on the trail. Um, it's got a flat head retention screw here, so you can adjust that. It uses torque screws for all the other mini screws that are on here. It's got a G10, it's got G10 scales, and they feel very, very nice. Actually, pretty nice job for a knockoff knife with a huge G10 insert, and it's robust. I mean, the blade, very little movement on the blade at all. And I've been snapping this open back and forth at least 100 times already. Um, I've batoned with it. I've shaved some wood. I've pried some things. And so far, it's uh, held up. Like I said, um, from China, but actually very nice. Came razor sharp out of the box. It's got a dual... Uh, blade with serrations in the back and a arced straight edge. Um, comes to a point at a spear there. It's a nice knife. Nice. And for the sixty nine ninety nine retail it's it's you know overpriced of course. But they don't really sell it at sixty nine bucks. Um, you can get these on average of uh, nineteen ninety nine. Um, they're all pretend clearance and items. Um, and for that amount of money, it's definitely worth the buy. Or at least look at. I mean, you want a good, you know, something to tool around and not spend $200 on, and, you know, you want to have to do it with. It's very pronounced in the hand. The jimping here really gives you this very sturdy feel, especially here also. Uh, so give it a look, guys. It's uh, the Elite Tactical ET. Two, and you can find that at your local Big Five. Uh, sorry about the camera. I will be getting a better one in the future.